In every 3DT interview, you will find these three questions. First question, explain the different memory locations. There are four memory locations in 3DT. Storage for variables stored permanently in a blockchain. Memory, a temporary memory for arrays. The stack, another temporary memory for simple variables like integer. And call data, that's what is coming from the transaction payload. Next question, what is a private variable? This is a variable that doesn't have a public getter function, which means you cannot read it simply from outside the blockchain with Web3.js or Ether.js. But big caveat, you can still read a private variable using security tools like Slither because the variable is still in the blockchain and everything in the blockchain is public. Final question, how does EVM work? Each transaction changes the state of the blockchain sequentially. The first transaction of a block is executed, then the second, until we finish all the transactions of the block. There is still much more to say about the EVM, and if you want to become a professional Web3 developer, you can apply for the bootcamp of Eat the Blocks. The link is in the description. Bye.